Let's talk about SEO for online courses. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, and that means optimizing your site, in this case, your online course site, for search engines. Now, what happens when someone searches for something online is they go to google.com or another search engine, and they type in certain keywords, and Google then spits out some results that Google thinks is best suited for those keywords that the person searched for. So for example, let's say you know I search for fitness, um, I could be searching for generic fitness information, or if I search for fitness courses, then I'm searching particularly for a fitness course to take. What you want to do as a course creator is to identify exactly what people are searching for when they're looking for a course like yours. So if they're looking to get online training for fitness, then you don't want to just optimize your site for the keyword fitness. You want to optimize it for online training for fitness. So what I'm trying to say is you don't want to take the, the core keyword, which is too broad. You want to niche down and find specifically what people are searching for so that your website pops up. How does Google determine why your website should pop up before someone else's? What Google does is they're going to look at the keywords, they're going to look at your website and they're going to say, okay, this website talks specifically about these keywords that this person is searching for. Therefore, this website is probably most appropriate to be serving up to this searcher. The best thing you can do right now is to, and you could probably do this in the next one hour, this is really easy, is find your core keywords that are perfect for your website. So go to Google AdWords, that's adwords.google.com. Click on the tools in the header. Click on the Keyword Planner tool. And the Keyword Planner tool allows you to plan your keywords. So you can put in what kind of website you have, what kind of courses you sell, and then Google will throw out some suggestions about what keywords to optimize the site for. Try not to optimize for the keywords that have a ton of traffic because they also have a ton of competition. What you want to do is to get the fat tail of the keyword spectrum, so the long tail keywords, where there's lower traffic but also lower competition, and then you can go, go ahead and dominate that niche. Back to the fitness thing, you don't want to just optimize for fitness or even fitness courses. Maybe you want to optimize for fitness courses for professionals. Now once you have that phrase, you want to put it into your website in, in the copy. So in Thinkific, there are spaces for you to put that keyword phrase in your title, in your URL, in your course description, in your SEO title, in your SEO description. In the details section, you can add those keywords to your course description. Now in your course description, try not to um, stuff it with keywords, so that means don't, you know, don't use the same keyword every second sentence because then it looks like you're, you're, you're li writing like a robot. Try to, try to get, it, get it in there often enough, but not too often. So maybe start your paragraph with the keyword and then wait for a bit and then maybe again later down try a variation of that keyword. So you have your keyword in your title, your URL, again in Thinkific you can customize your URL to include those keywords. You have it in your course description. You can also add student reviews. When students start writing reviews for your courses, Google actually picks up on that and gives you some SEO juice for those reviews. Um, another thing you, need, you should probably be doing is blogging about your courses. So what you can do is you have the core keywords um, in your course description page and then you can take variations of that and create blog posts around those variations. So, you know, fitness courses for professionals and then you know how, how do you do fitness if you have a nine to five job or fitness courses for you know people who can't sleep very well you know that sort of thing just keep playing around with the keywords creating different blog posts and then tying it all back linking back to your main course page that's the basics of SEO for your online course site it's actually pretty simple and you could probably do it in an hour right now and if you need more help always check out the Thinkific blog or our experts marketplace <music>